Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. My name is Jihuan Bang. This work is done with Sum Young An and Jay Gil Lee. Today we are going to talk about active prompt learning in visual language models. Prompt learning is widely used in pre-trained vision language models to adapt them to a target task. This technique is popular because it requires only a small amount of data to significantly boost performance by updating a few learnable context parameters. However, there is an underlying assumption that a few examples for all classes are provided. This raises the question, how can we obtain these examples from an unlabeled dataset? Active learning is a technique that aims to maximize model performance by selectively sampling the most informative examples from an unlabeled dataset. To address our research question, we initially applied conventional active learning methods to vision language models. However, we observed a severe performance degradation caused by class imbalance in the selected queries. Furthermore, we discovered that this class imbalance in the active learning queries exacerbates the bias in vision language models. To address this problem, we propose a novel method called PCB. PCB rectifies the imbalance problem and seamlessly integrates with conventional active learning methods. Briefly speaking, in the PCB algorithm, we first select the informative set P hat using conventional active learning where the size depends on gamma and the unlabeled set size. Through this process, we expect that P hat will consist of examples that can help improve model performance. Afterwards, we focus on creating a class balanced query set Q using pseudo labels. First, we identify class K, which has the smallest number of class samples in the estimated labeled set, and select one sample pseudo-labeled as K from the pseudo-labeled set. We then update Q and the estimated labeled set. By doing so, PCB reduces the imbalance when constructing the query set Q and improves accuracy compared to active learning without PCB. Moreover, there is a well-known technique called description augmentation, it is commonly used in vision language models to improve performance. There are two representative methods of description augmentation. The first one is AS, which calculates the average similarity of each description text embedding. The second one is AE, which first calculates the average description text embedding in a class-wise manner and then calculates similarity using the averaged embedding. We will show the performance comparison between AS and AE in the results section. In our empirical validation, the proposed method demonstrated performance improvements when integrated with conventional active learning across various datasets. Furthermore, in most cases, PCB with AS showed greater performance gains compared to PCB with AE. To validate the importance of informativeness and class balance, we conducted further experiments. As we increase gamma, queries can contain non-informative examples with higher probability. The graph shows that both accuracy and class balance decrease as gamma increases, except for Corset. Since Corset has a much higher imbalance value compared to other baselines, it experiences a performance improvement when focusing more on class balance. Therefore, we can conclude that class balance and informativeness should be properly balanced to maximize performance. In sum, we first find that vision language models have knowledge imbalance, causing class imbalance in active learning queries. To solve this issue, we propose PCB that leverages VLM knowledge to address class imbalance. Since this is the first work for active prompt learning in vision language models, we expect that PCB triggers new active prompt learning research in vision language models. For more details, please visit our GitHub repository for the codes. Thank you. Please visit our poster for more experiments and analysis. Thank you.